Are there many like us out there? You know, with the skin. Don't you go start any trouble around here. Keep it simple. It's good to have someone reliable to count on again. You're back. Were you able to secure Hilda safely? Supplies are starting to dwindle a little. That's good to hear. Even with the She's an invaluable the asset to the runs. vault. You know, what exactly was happening storms. over there? Reckless. Perhaps a necessary step in seeking a cure, but to do so alone, with the region in the state it is. Well, it's good you were able to arrive there before she'd gotten herself killed. You're more capable than I had assumed. I'll make sure you're suitably rewarded for your effort. Take a moment to dust yourself off, but report back to me soon. I have another job for you. This one's a bit more... delicate than the others. You're dismissed. It's good to have someone reliable to count on again. Maybe now we can start fixing things around here. You reckon that storm's gonna get worse or better? Hmm? Oh! Welcome back. How can I help? If you're ready, I'd like to brief you on a highly classified matter. To be frank, you are among the few here that I believe I can share this information with. Though I suppose that's not saying much. I have not been entirely honest about my role here. Not to you, nor other members of the Vault, Hugo included. I am Lieutenant Colonel James T. Oberlin, United States Army. Actively, not formerly. I remain in contact with him to this day. Originally, I was to oversee a government-funded weather research project. One that was shut down and then ultimately scooped up by Mr. Stoltz. While I was never exactly an expert on the subject, Mr. Stoltz found my experience with the project important for the transition. That project led to the development of this very vault's weather machine and ultimately our current predicament. I have remained in contact with my associates in the army ever since, reporting the good and the bad. Not long ago, I dispatched a member of my team to pass along my findings to a drop site I've been using over the years. Unfortunately, he has failed to return. And I fear the worst. No reason to think it won't keep Daniel down. is a good man. It's important we bring him home, if still possible. There's also the matter of the report, and whether or not it had been passed along, or potentially fallen into the wrong hands. Information on the weather machine, the storm, the lost, and... Mr. Stoltz's recent activities. If things continue to accelerate as they are, I may end up requesting additional support. It's imperative they be made aware of what's happening. No, Daniel is part of the security crew hired by Mr. Stoltz, but he is still a member of my team. While I wasn't able to select my team personally, I have come to trust each and every one of them. It pains me not knowing Daniel's condition. Thank you. The drop is located at High Knob Tower, along the western perimeter of the park. We haven't had trouble with that location so far, but there is a chance the Lost have overrun it. Or potentially some other party, drawn in by the allure of the storm. Either way, you're going in blind. Be prepared for the worst. It may not seem like much, but your help has been invaluable to us. Thank you.
How did I get to this point? Outsiders rolled in, heavily armed, started setting up camp. Only a matter of time until they find me up here. Pretty sure this is it for me. But listen, Chief, I gotta come clean. I wanna go to my grave with a clean conscience. This whole thing, the reports, the army, it's a sham, boss. Every single file has gone straight to Mr. Stoltz. We're his men first, Chief. Not yours. Not really. There's no military contact. Just Hugo. Those of us in the know have been heading out here to play the part. Make you think it's real. But this ain't a drop site. It's a smoke break spot. I'm sorry you gotta find out like this, Chief. You're one of the good ones. Don't trust anyone down there. We're all just his... puppets. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I'm sorry.
You seem perturbed, my friend. Has your work with Chief Oberlin been that taxing? Very well. Good luck in your duties. You seem perturbed, my friend. How crude. Come now, my friend. What is this all about? I would thank you not to throw around baseless accusations. We felt the whole vault shaking a while back. Security said it's a shame we don't have the workforce to spruce this place up. It may not seem like much, but your help has been invaluable to us. Thank you. You're back. And without Daniel, what was the situation? time since we had a good community gathering around here. I cannot stress enough the importance of this. It's good to have someone reliable to count on again. Maybe now we can start fixing things around here. It may not seem like much, but your help has been invaluable to us. What if we go back to the surface and nobody wants to know us because of our, you know, condition? <laughs> 